Hello everyone, we officially have the name for the next Mint release, Linux Mint 22.3, and honestly, I think it sounds pretty good, Xena. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything I know right now about Linux Mint 22.3 Xena, where the name comes from, where it fits in Mint's evolution, why it matters, the interesting changes it brings, the technical improvements, who I think this release is for, and a few things I'd consider before upgrading. If you know Linux Mint, you probably already know about the fun tradition of codenames. Each version gets a female first name ending in A, and the first letter moves forward alphabetically. This tradition has been around for years and gives Mint a unique charm. So after Linux Mint 22.2 Zara, it made sense for the next version to stick with Z. But since we're already at the end of the alphabet, we continue with names starting with Z. And that's how we get Linux Mint 22.3 Xena. The name has been officially confirmed on the Linux Mint Packages website, so it's 100% real, not a rumor. This tells me the development team is actively preparing for release. 22.3, Xena is a point release, not a completely new generation like Mint 23. That means it doesn't change the base OS, it doesn't move to a different Ubuntu LTS, it doesn't radically alter the internal architecture. Its goal is to improve the Mint 22 experience without resetting it completely. In short, it's a quality update, not a revolution. And honestly, this is what I love about Mint. They focus on maturity, stability, and carefully thought out updates instead of sudden changes that disrupt users. Now, this is the fun part. I have a list of updates that might not sound spectacular in the headlines, but they make a real difference in daily use. For Cinnamon users, the biggest news is the redesigned start menu. And I'm not talking about a tiny visual tweak. This is the biggest change to the Mint menu in years. Here's what I've noticed, explained in plain language. On the left, there's a new area that shows my avatar, folders like documents, downloads, pictures, favorite apps, shortcuts I use every day. It's basically a small personal hub. If I prefer a compact menu with fewer details, I can just turn it off. Mint doesn't force a new design. It just gives me options. I can put the search bar at the top or bottom, depending on what I like. I can place shut down, restart, and log out buttons wherever it makes sense for me. For new users like me, it's easy to see what an app actually does. Xena shows a short description directly in the menu. Small, but super helpful. It's the same classic Mint menu, but now with a modern vibe, more control, and better organization. Honestly, this is the biggest visual change I notice in Xena. If you've used Mint, you know the system tray sometimes felt a little vintage. Not bad, but not perfectly consistent. Xena brings a new status applet for a cleaner look. Indicators are more organized, behavior is more consistent, better visual integration with the Mint theme. I don't have all the details yet, but I can clearly see that Mint is slowly modernizing the tray. Many people wonder when Mint will switch to Wayland, but Xena doesn't fully switch either. It takes important steps toward it. Here's what I like about Xena's Wayland support. Much better keyboard layout handling, more reliable input methods, great if you use multiple languages, visual and performance improvements, more stable Wayland sessions on new hardware. Mint is doing this the slow and steady way, like GNOME did years ago. No rushed changes, no broken compatibility. If I have modern hardware and want to try Wayland, Xena might be the first version that feels really ready for real testing. Mint made a move I've been waiting for. Two new system tools designed for clarity and control. System information is like x-ray glasses for my computer. It shows in one place, CPU, memory, GPU, drivers, USB and PCI devices, hardware acceleration, troubleshooting info, everything in a clean, simple, and easy to understand interface. System administration is more technical, but I find it very useful. In Xena, it starts with grub settings, boot menu visibility, boot times, kernel parameters. It's clearly a growing project, so future versions will probably become an even bigger control center. Mint is letting me have more control without forcing me to use the terminal. Target audience for Linux Mint Xena, new users. Xena is probably the most beginner-friendly Mint release so far. Intuitive menu, modern system tools, stable experience, experienced users. System information is gold for debugging. The growing Wayland support is perfect for testing on new hardware. Those who value stability, Mint is still Mint. No surprises, no drastic changes. Xena is evolution, not revolution. Things I consider before upgrading. No update is perfect, 
Um, so here's what I think realistically. Wayland isn't 100% stable yet, still in progress. Older hardware might still be better on Zorg if I'm using Mint in production. I might wait for the first post-release updates. From what I've seen, the release is planned for December 2025 and is expected to launch around Christmas. There might be minor delays, which is normal, but the Mint team is clearly on track. Xena is coming, and development is hitting important milestones. Xena doesn't try to reinvent Linux Mint. Instead, it makes Mint more modern, flexible, user-friendly, and better adapted to new hardware. For me, it's the kind of update that improves Mint for everyday use without changing my habits. Already a Mint user, Xena will feel like a natural upgrade. A beginner, Xena might be the best way to start using Mint. Coming from another distro, it might be exactly the mix of stability, simplicity, and refinement you're looking for. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you won't miss future updates. Share your thoughts in the comments. Are you excited to try Xena, or are you holding off for a later update? See you in the next video.